in Indian Valley tonight on Academic Challenge. Academic Challenge is brought to you by Westfield Insurance. And now, here's the host of Academic Challenge, Jason Nicholas. Hey there, I'm Jason Nicholas, and welcome to Academic Challenge. The challenge is simple. Tonight, these three teams will compete for points by answering questions covering math, science, history, and other topics. First, though, let's take a look at our team standings. Because at the end of the season, the top three scoring teams will return for our championship showdown. But these points are very important for another reason. Westfield Insurance will grant $20,000 to the top 10 schools that compete this season on Academic Challenge. Now, let's get started with our opening match. It is the lightning round. In this round, all three teams compete. We award 10 points for a correct answer. We'll subtract 10 points for an incorrect or no answer. We start each team tonight with 100 points. Here we go. Many good things come in twos, and so does the letter N in this category. Identify the following. Keep in mind, each answer must contain two Ns side by side. Shakespeare left us 154 examples of this 14 Edison. Sonnet. Sonnet, yes. The other twin of this twin city is St. Paul. Edison. Minneapolis. Yes. This ancient Carthaginian general crossed the Alps with elephants. Hannibal. Fairless. Hannibal, yes. This adjective describes a substance containing tin. Substance containing tin. Stanic. This is the third word in the book of Genesis. Edison. Beginning. Beginning, yes. In 1764, James Hargreaves invented this spinning device. You may know this. Spinning Jenny. This 35th president was assassinated in 1963. Fairless. Kennedy. Kennedy's right. Every year, this company puts out a book of world records. Edison? Guinness. Yes. These brothers, Peyton and Eli. Edison. Manning. Our NFL quarterbacks, Manning is right. For our final lightning round question, let's go over to Alicia Kells from the Cleveland Orchestra. Under the direction of our distinguished music director, Franz Velser Most, the Cleveland Orchestra has performed concerts all over the world, including many in what city, the capital of Austria? Indian Valley. Vienna. Vienna is correct, and that does it for our opening round. We'll come back and meet the teams as Academic Challenge continues. Just like anything can happen in the game you're about to watch, anything can happen in life. That's why there's Westfield Insurance. Our employees and agency partners are here for you when the unexpected happens. Help put the pieces back together and give you peace of mind. In addition to high school quiz shows, we support programs like teen driver safety and community involvement. The bottom line is that we value what you value. So thanks for tuning in. Now let's watch these sharp young minds compete in what's sure to be an exciting match. Nancy Weissman. Welcome back to Academic Challenge. Thanks for watching us tonight. It's now time for the Mix It Up round here. The questions are worth 20 points. No penalty for an incorrect answer. If your team answers all six questions correctly, they'll receive 25 bonus points. First, let's take some time to learn about team number one from Edison. It's a public four-year comprehensive school serving the communities of Berlin Heights and Milan. The high school building contains 32 classrooms, a library, computer and science labs, a performing arts center, two band rooms, a gymnasium, and a weight room. In addition to athletics, Edison offers strong programs in the arts and is one of a few public high schools to offer speech and debate as an extracurricular activity competing in the National Forensic League. Okay, David is the captain of Edison. David, you're the class president. Tell us more. Uh, yes, I'm also in student council and a member of the wrestling team, so I'm enjoying eating meals now while I can. That's fantastic. Over to Ben. Ben, you play football. Tell us more about Ben. Yeah, I am a three-year starter on the football team, and we are off to a 6-0 and start. Terrific. Over to Nathan. Nathan, you play on the tennis team. Tell everyone at home more about Nathan. It's a really great experience, and uh, it's just fun to be out there with all of my teammates. All right, very good. Ben, David, Nathan, gentlemen, these questions just for you. If you're on the right wavelength, you can find hidden in here the name of what Midwestern state that is a leading producer of corn? Iowa. Iowa's right. A person who hates his fellow man is best known by which of these words? 
Miss Anthrop. That is right. Fill in the blanks here to name what classic Bram Stoker vampire story? Dracula. Dracula is right. Which of these two words are synonyms? Plead and entreat. You got it. Which of these three words was applied to Prince Henry, who encouraged Portuguese exploration in the early 15th century? Navigator. That is right. 25 bonus points possible here. Edison. These were the words of an American who once headed what cabinet department? Headed today by John Kerry. The Department of State. State is correct. 25 bonus points. Edison. <laughs> Team two is Fairless. Fairless is a public school located in southwestern Stark County. Encourages its students to soar to excellence every day. Whether it be in academics, athletics, or within the community, Fairless offers numerous sports, clubs, and community involvement programs. Some of these programs include the 4.0 GPA and 30 ACT score club. Falcon Playhouse, Silver Wing, Show Choir, and Ping Pong Club. Fairless has been working with a local university to offer a college credit plus program which allows students to attend college classes. Anastasia is the captain of Fairless. Anastasia is involved in Operation Christmas Child. Tell us more. Um, that's through NHS, and I'm the operating chair this year, so I'm going to have a lot of planning on my hands. Um, I'm also the Playhouse Senior Class Representative, Student Council Secretary, Choir Vice President, and a marching band squad leader. You don't do much, do you? <laughs> All right, Luke, over to you. Luke, you play on the football team. Tell us more, Luke. Um, I'm a lineman on the football team, and I'm in the... I play alto sax in the jazz band and baritone sax in the wind ensemble. All right. Fi finally, over to Alexis. Alexis, uh, you attend Kent State Stark Campus. Tell us more about Alexis. Mm -hmm. I'm also involved in Falcon Playhouse, Silver Wings, and band. Okay, Fairless, these questions just for you. Don't be traumatized here if you can find hidden the name of what northernmost New England state? Maine. Maine is right. Which of these adjectives would best describe someone who acts as if he were more important than everyone else? Pompous. Pompous, yes. Fill in the blanks here. You can say hi to what famous Egyptian statue located near the pyramids of Giza? The Sphinx. Sphinx, yes. Which two of these four words could be synonymous for the word poisonous? Venomous and virulent. That is right. Which of these peninsulas extends into the Black Sea? Crimean Peninsula. That is right. 25 bonus points possible here, Fairless. These words, which may echo the thoughts of many modern presidents, were part of the second inaugural address of what third chief executive? Jefferson. 25 bonus points! <laughs> for Fairless, nice job. Two for two. Hey, Indian Valley's up next. Located in Tuscarawas County, Indian Valley is an enrollment of 500, grades 9 to 12. Every classroom equipped with an LCD projector and a board that enables the delivery of image-rich instruction, a one-to-one -one initiative provides each student with either a netbook or Google Chromebook. In addition to the technology offered to students are a wide variety of clubs and organizations. Eligible students also have the opportunity to enroll in the post-secondary option program to earn college credit tuition-free. Brian is the captain of Indian Valley. Brian, you are the class president. Hi, I'm also in band and National Honor Society. Okay, over to Taylor. Taylor's in Drama Club. Tell me one more about Taylor. I also participate in the post-secondary and college credit plus programs, as well as choir and band. Very good. Over to Cheyenne. Cheyenne also in the drama club. Tell us more. I also participate in the color guard and the choir. All right. Very good. Indian Valley. These questions only for you. No need to buzz in. Hidden in this menu choice is the last name of what American who developed both a commercially successful telegraph and a code to use with it. Morse. Yes, that's right. Which of these persons would most appropriately wear a tutu? A ballerina. Ballerina is right. To complete these phrases, fill in the blanks with what same number? Seven. Hmm. Correct. Seven. Which two of these four words are synonyms? Belligerent and corpulent. No, trucilent and belligerent. Socialism, communism, devilism was the slogan used to attack which of these taxes officially allowed by the 16th Amendment? Income tax. Income tax, yes. When D.H. Lawrence wrote this phrase, he was describing what Australian marsupial whose powerful hind legs are used for jumping. Kangaroo. Kangaroo is right, and that does it for that round. Only one incorrect response. We've got three great schools. It's tightening up. More Q&A after this. I'm Kevin Neitzel of the Alpha Group, a Westfield partner bringing you the sharing knowledge, building trust, question of the week. True or false? 
Flood insurance is only available for people who live in a designated flood zone. For the answer and a chance to win an iPad mini, visit westfieldinsurance.com slash academic challenge. Before we begin our next round, let's recap the score so far tonight. 210 Indian Valley. Second place, Fairless at 265. And so far in the lead tonight, still extremely early. Edison, 295. Now it is time for the picture perfect round. Each correct answer for 10 points, but a wrong or no answer will cost 10 points. All three teams are playing here, so hands on your buzzers, eyes on the monitor. Here we go. No one knows who painted this charming 19th century scene of life around the plaza of what city, the capital of New Mexico? Fairless. Albuquerque. Santa Fe. George Bingham's 1847 painting shows raftsmen playing cards while sailing down what chief tributary of the Mississippi River, Fairless? The Missouri River. Missouri River is right. The statue, statue honors what first president of Texas, a man whose name was given to the state's largest city, Indian Valley? Houston. Sam Houston is right. This expression is what multiple of the square root of three, where all roots are positive. Anybody know this one? Seven, the National Archives preserves this Spanish language copy of the 1848 Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo that ended what war? Fairless. Spanish-American War. No, the Mexican-American War. This scarlet macaw is now protected in nature reserves in what Central American country where San Jose is the capital? You have a guess there? San Jose is the capital of Costa Rica. This is amethyst, whose purple color is caused by what chemical impurity? An element whose symbol is F-E. Edison. Iron. Iron is right. Highlighted in this issue of Cleveland Magazine is a local art museum's exhibit featuring works created by what modern artist known for his iconic pieces of pop art, which feature a Campbell soup can in Marilyn Monroe, Indian Valley? Warhol. Andy Warhol is right, and that does it for the Picture Perfect Round. We're back. More academic challenge, more Q&A. Right after this. Tonight from Edison, Shirley Will Robinstein, from Fairless, Ashley Bosco, and from Indian Valley, Blair Ebler. Time to get back underway now with hot picks. One at a time, I'll ask each team eight questions. A correct response is worth 20 points. There's no penalty for a wrong answer, so guess away. Any team answering eight questions correctly will receive those 25 bonus points. First up, team number one, Edison. For your questions, we go over to Anastasia from Fairless. Anastasia from Fairless, one, two, three, or four? Let's give them number three. Let's give them number three. Okay, gentlemen, here we go. These questions just for you. One of the oldest words in the English language is the name of what common fruit associated with Adam and Eve? Apple. Yes, although their tribal lands were in Oregon, Chief Joseph and the Nez Perce were moved to a reservation in what other state directly north of Oregon? Washington. Washington. Yes, in addition to gold rushes, South Africa saw an 1870s rush for what gemstone? That's the world's hardest mineral. Diamond. Diamond, yes. To the model of your science question, here you see symbols for four elements of the halogen family. Identify the missing halogen, which is often used in water purification. Chlorine. Chlorine, well done. The Jazanaries were ruthless slave troops in the army of what Turkish empire that was not disbanded until the early 20th century? Ottoman. Ottoman, yes. Fitzwilliam Darcy is the aloof romantic interest of Elizabeth Bennet in what classic novel by Jane Austen? Little Women. No pride and prejudice. To the monitor your math question, what is the number of degrees angle X? Exterior angle there is 145, by the way. 45. 35. 35 is right. Francis Napoleon III pulled various strings when he set up what Austrian Archduke as Mexico's puppet emperor during the U.S. Civil War? Franz Ferdinand. Franz Ferdinand. Now, Maximilian is the right answer there. Well done, Edison. A little bit of a tough draw. Envelope number three. Okay, we go over to Fairless now, but for your questions, we go over to Brian from Indian Valley. Brian, what will it be, one, two, or four? One. Envelope number one, four. 
Fairless. Here we go. These questions only for you. Almost the whole Earth was left uninhabited, said one observer in 1349. At the height of what disease then rampant in Europe? Bubonic plague. Plague is right. The University of California Press has sold over 100,000 copies of a book that teaches you to read what form of pictorial language used in ancient Egypt. Hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphs or hieroglyphics, correct. A sand dune 930 miles long has been sighted on Titan, the largest moon of what planet? Six from the sun. Saturn. Saturn is right to the monitor your science question. If a volume of an ideal gas is doubled, its pressure is reduced by half. This phenomenon is described by which of these? Planck's constant. No, Boyle's law. Sumner Elementary School in Topeka, Kansas has been designated a historic national landmark since it was the focus of what 1964 Supreme Court school desegregation ruling? Brown versus Board of Education. That is right. The first scene of what Shakespearean tragedy includes a sword fight between servants of two feuding families, the Capulets and the Montagues. Romeo and Juliet. You got it to the model of your math question. What is the average of these three numbers, the average? 20. 20 is right. The ancient Minoan civilization took its name from Minos, the mythical king of what largest of the Greek islands? Crete. Crete is right. Well done, Fairless. Good job there. Only missed one. And pulls it within 30 points of our lead tonight. All right, finally, Indian Valley. We go back over to our buddy David from Edison. What will it be, two or four? Four. Envelope number four. So sorry, envelope number two. Indian Valley, these questions just for you. Springfield, Massachusetts, both sculptures of the cat in the hat and Yertle the turtle in a sculpture garden dedicated to what author who created these characters? Dr. Seuss. Yeah, Dr. Seuss. Brit British General Howe won a promotion when his troops captured what Boston Hill that names an early Revolutionary War battle? Bunker Hill. That is right. Leonardo da Vinci would be all smiles if he could witness the popularity of La Gioconda, his smiling painting better known by what other name? Mona Lisa. That is right to the monitor your science question. Protoplasm is composed mainly of which of these? Protoplasm. Water. Water, yes. According to Greek legend, the family surviving the Great Flood was not Noah's, but that of what Titan who'd given man the gift of fire? Hyperion. Need to guess here, Ivy. Hyperion. No Prometheus. If the cartoon character Popeye wanted to swap sea stories, he might visit what Arabian night sailor who went on seven adventure-filled voyages? Sinbad. Sinbad is right to the monitor of your math question. If X equals 12, what do we have here? 12. If X equals 12, we have 132, 144 minus 12. A wall was built in Britain as a defense against the Picts and Scots by what Roman emperor for whom the wall was named? Nero. No, Hadrian. Well done, Indian Valley. A tough draw there. And that does it for that round. The grab bag round is coming up next. Things are tightening up. Stay close. For complete information about everything academic, visit us online at newsnet5.com slash academic challenge. All right. Great crowd tonight, East 30th in Euclid. Welcome back to Academic Challenge. Before we continue, let's recap those scores so far tonight. In third place, 330 points, Indian Valley. Second place, 395. We have Fairless in the lead tonight, heading into our grab bag round, a 30-point lead. For the gentleman from Edison, 425. Now it is time for the grab bag round. It's a free for all. Each correct answer is worth 20 points, but the team will lose 20 points for a wrong or no answer. Also, here's some visual questions. Those are plus or minus 30 points. Again, this is for all three teams. So hands on your buzzers. Our grab bag round begins now. The first large office building to be completely air conditioned opened in 1929. In what Texas city where there had been a heated confrontation at the Alamo? Edison. San Antonio. That is right. In its first week of publication last summer, over a million copies were sold of what new Harper Lee novel? Edison. 
Ghost of the Watchmen. That is right. The first broadcast of Radio Free Europe was in, was in 1950. And it was in what language spoken in the city of Prague? Where are they speaking Prague, Fairless? Check. Check, yes, to the monitor. The ink has faded on the original troop roster for the volunteer group led by young Abe Lincoln in what 1832 war named for a Native American chief? Well, the war here, 30 points. The Black Hawk War. If someone sent you a coded message, you would find what vowel easiest to decode because it is the most commonly used letter. Fairless. E. The letter E, yes. The Fishamble Street Music Hall in Dublin was the unlikely site of the first performance of what popular Handel Oratorio often played at Christmas. Handel Christmas. Do you guys have a guess here? The Messiah, choice, what happens to the weight of hydrated copper sulfate when it is heated? Does it increase, decrease, or stay the same? The answer is decrease. To the monitor, this just comment was made by what ancient Greek philosopher forced to commit suicide by drinking hemlock? Fairless. Socrates. Socrates is right. 2015 marked the 75th birthday of what cartoon rabbit noted for asking, what's up, Doc? Indian Valley. Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny is right. In what 18th century English scientist studied the nesting habits of cuckoos before developing the first vaccine for smallpox Edison? Hmm. Yes? No. Edward Jenner approximating pi as 22 over 7. What is the circumference of a circle with a radius of 14 inches? Radius is 88 inches to the monitor. There was jubilation in the House of Representatives in 1865 with the approval of what number constitutional amendment banning slavery? Fairless. 13. 13, yes. The small town of Park Hill, Oklahoma has a museum devoted to what Native American tribe that made the tragic trail of tears? Fairless. The Cherokee. Yes. The volatile oils given off by its dense woodlands create a haze and give what name to the great mountains on the Tennessee, North Carolina border? Edison. The Great Smokies. That is right. After a bloody 1945 battle, U.S. Marines captured what Pacific Island that includes Mount Suribachi. Fairless. Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima, yes. In what Edith Wharton novel does the title character's downhill bobsled ride start a downhill life for him and his passenger? Edison. The Giver. No, Ethan Frome. Songwriters are often inspired by love, but the shelling of what historic Baltimore fort inspired the writing of the Star Spangled Banner? Edison. Fort McHenry. Fort McHenry is right. Although you wouldn't expect to see pyramids in Tennessee, the state's largest city shares what same name with the capital of ancient Egypt. The answer is Memphis there. That's the buzzer. The game is over. Let's take a look at our final standings tonight. In third place, 350 points, Indian Valley. In second place, impressive though, 465, Edison. And our winner tonight getting into our top five, 535. Congratulations. Hey, join us next week. We'll feature teams from Kirtland. Loudonville and Western Reserve Academy. I'm Jason Nicholas. We'll see you next week for another edition of Academic Challenge. Good night, everybody. Academic Challenge has been brought to you by Westfield Insurance.